Hi guys, this is Jared with Data Medics again. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, imaging data from really old hard drives that used CHS rather than LBA as a scheme for addressing sectors. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with what that is, uh, modern hard drives all use a system known as LBA, or logical block addressing, uh, to number the sectors on the hard drive. And it's a very simple system for the operating system. Uh, it's simply every sector is numbered from zero to the maximum number, and the hard drive itself actually keeps track of what data is saved on what, which platter, you know, which head, which cylinder, uh, which track, and so the, for the operating system end, it's quite simple. Uh, however, uh, older hard drives uh, were less complex. They didn't have this LBA system, so uh, the operating system actually had to be aware of uh, what cylinder, what head, and which sector on the track that a particular sector was to be found at. So it was a little more complex system from the operating system end. Now I'm just going to go ahead and power on this hard drive. Now this is an older hard drive that came in for data recovery. Um, I don't believe this hard drive actually has anything wrong with it. Um, it possibly maybe just has a few bad sectors. Um, I believe the issue is really just that the hard drive is so old the customer could not find a modern computer system uh, that would work with it because modern computer systems are all assuming that the hard drive is using the LBA block addressing system, uh, whereas this hard drive is actually using the CHS block addressing system. So we're just going to give this a minute, uh, wait for it to come ready, I hear a little bit of grinding activity on the hard drive right now, and as we see now the DRD DSC lights are on, on our status indicators, so this tells me that the hard drive is now ready to accept ATA commands. Now, uh, if, this, if a drive comes in for recovery and you're having some issue, I'm just going to show you the common thing that you're going to see if you try to access it as you would any other hard drive. Uh, I'm just going to use the universal utility since I know this hard drive doesn't actually have a proper utility in mo the modern PC3000 software since it is so old. Now, as you can see, this is only a 700 megabyte hard drive, so it's quite an old hard drive. Uh, most CHS drives that are going to come in, you know, they're usually going to be in the sub uh, one gigabyte size. So they're very small, older hard drives. Uh, now, as we can see, right away we get this error. Hard drive does not support set max LBA. That's a good indicator that you might be dealing with a CHS hard drive. And if we go ahead and open up the sector editor, let's put that to read only mode, uh, as we can see, <clears throat> right away we get this ABR error. Uh, it's not able to read the sector, and it doesn't matter if we try the last sector, the sector in the middle, uh, we're just going to continually get this ABR error. And if you try to open up a task in data extractor, yeah, doing it the, the normal method you would probably use for a typical IDE hard drive, uh, I'm just going to show you what you're going to run into and what you're going to look for. So I'm just going to start this up as I would a regular task. All right, so now if we switch over to the map tab and I go ahead and start the imaging, I'm going to notice that uh, right away it's just giving us all black. Uh, it's not able to read the sectors. Every sector is uh, getting an error that's preventing reading. So uh, clearly this hard drive is not working with the LBA requests that it's trying to use right now. So we're just going to go ahead and stop that and close that task. Now <clears throat> I'm going to reopen the task, but this time we're going to do the, the CHS preparation. So I'm just going to start the task again. And this time when we get to this task initialization screen, you're going to notice at the very bottom here it has LCHS regime. And I'm just going to go ahead and tick that box. And that's just letting the data extractor software know that uh, this is a CHS hard drive, and it's going to need to prepare those settings. So we just go ahead and advance through as we normally would. And this time we're going to notice that we get this new menu that pops up, which is to initialize hard drive by logical parameters. So this is <clears throat> uh, going to detect the LCHS mode. Now, in this particular case, we notice that everything actually autofilled itself. Right there, we see the, the cylinder, number of cylinders, number of heads, number of sectors per track. Uh, has all filled itself in. So uh, this is a hard drive, it's, it's a later CHS model, which had the capability to actually notify the BIOS or the operating system of its CHS settings so that it could auto-configure itself. Uh, some very old hard drives, uh, earlier models, would actually not be able to fill this in. So you may actually have to fill in some of these on your own. Um, now they do have in here this button here, this is standard configuration. Uh, this is a lot of common configurations that uh, different hard drives had. So if you're 
you, you could certainly go to the manual. Uh, back when they were making these hard drives, the manual would generally always have the number of cylinders, number of heads, number of sectors uh, in the manual, or sometimes it even might be printed on the hard drive itself. Um, if you can't seem to find that information, you can try through these. Most likely it's going to be one of these common configurations. But in this case, it was able to auto-detect, so we can just hit OK. And as you can see, it's going to load up the utility just like normal. If we switch to the map tab now, <clears throat> we go ahead and start the imaging. And as you can see now, it's reading the sectors just like it would any other hard drive. Um, it is an old slow hard drive that only reads about 2 megabytes a second, but with only 700 megabytes, uh, that's really only going to take us about half an hour or so to image the whole hard drive. So uh, just hope this helps anybody who's uh, trying to deal with an older hard drive and maybe having some difficulties. Uh, if you like the... <clears throat> Uh, if you'd like more information on our data recovery services or you want to talk with other data recovery professionals about a case you're working on, uh, please visit our forum or our homepage. I'll go ahead and post those links in the description as well as up on the screen. Uh, again, this is Jared from Data Medics, and thanks for watching.